tell you a little, don't try to sleep. You see, one of the things that must come back to the church is spiritual disciplines. A lot of Christians like Christian songs, but they do not want the Christian life. There are a lot of Christians that like to sing, that like to jump, that like to dance. But once it is time for the word of God, they shut down. Sometimes it's a sign that the flesh is dominant in them than the spirit. Because one of the ways that the spirit of God will be able to conform you to the image of the Christ is by the word of God. Tell the people about the word of God. No baby grows by dancing. Babies grow by eating. Are we together? There is a place for praising God, and we have done that already, but there is also the place of the word. The Bible says the entrance of that word is light. And it gives. And it gives. Come on. We are one people. And it gives water. And then onto the circle. So we are trusting the Holy Spirit that as I share the word of God, you will get understanding. In Jesus' name we are praying. Let's say the great pastor share the awesome. And I get to part of all. On some session, I was truly blessed. If I didn't pray today, I would still be blessed. You know, that was a very awesome session. It made me start to me. And another thing I want to encourage those of us, especially the young ministers, is that let, let us learn to not only appreciate one another, but let us learn to receive from one another. Sometimes God will take you to a meeting so that you can learn, not so that you can, do you understand that? So let's be open to receive. Amen. Amen. Eternal Father, we thank you because you are powerful and mighty. Your presence is in the midst of your people and we handle your name corporately. Lord God, let understanding be imparted. Let light come. Let our lives truly change. In Jesus' name we pray. So to add by the grace of God, I want to talk about the subject in his presence. In his presence. That's what I want to talk about. And I have one hour to do that. In his presence. Are we ready? If you are ready for the word, say I am ready for the word. I'm ready for the word. When the thing was given in his presence, I, I, I needed to spend more time praying because the subject of the presence of God, although should be general reality for believers. It has been observed that many Christians know religious cliche. Many Christians know songs about the presence, but not many believers know the presence of God. Are we together? Yes, sir. Hello, are we together? Yes, sir. Tell everybody, don't try to sleep. Don't try to sleep. I have a culture, if you are sleeping, two things. If you are young and you are tired, or very old and tired, I can understand you spent long hours, I, I, could, I could forgo and forgive. But uh, if you are not too old and not too young, I, I have a culture, I could, we'll pray together. Amen. Amen. So, be watching as I'm watching. Now, when we talk about the presence of God, you will notice that in your thing, what we see is in His presence. There are many things that are possible in the presence of a bulldog. Are you here? Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Your response is important. Amen. Amen. I used to bring dogs, German Shepherd dogs, police dogs. How many of you know my beauty are just here? Okay. Okay. The reason why I use simple things to teach scripture is so that at least every age grade can you know understand. There are things that are possible in only in the presence of a dog. You do not know that you can fly a fence until a big dog starts chasing you. <laughs> Suddenly, supernatural strength comes upon us. Ah, ah, but the next thing you try it, you will be breaking it. There are things that are possible in the presence of your class captain. He will write your name when you are making noise. Is that true? Yes, there are things that are possible in the presence of your parents. You may be misbehaving. Once you hear the hum of that star, goes into hiding. Some of you may suddenly develop the mystery of sleep. You start sleeping. <laughs> you force the sleep to happen. Why? Some things are possible in the presence of your biological father. Now, there are things that are possible also in the presence of demons. Mm. When demons invaded the man, the mighty man of Gadara, the Gadarenes. There are many things we see in his life. But one of it is that he was mad 
His madness was not a monumental disorder. It was not a medical condition. It was a spirit that was finding expression through his mind. Are we together? Yes, sir. But there are things that are also possible in the presence of the angels of God. For example, Mary was barren, and the Bible said that an angel of the Lord came unto Mary and said, Blessed are thou, Mary, and have favor, right? Blessed are you among women. And the angel began to give a prophecy in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. He says, And you shall bring forth a son. You will call his name Jesus, for will save his people from their sins. And Mary said, How shall this be? Seeing that I do not know a man. And then the angel said, Don't worry, the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. And pray for somebody to know the Holy Ghost will come upon you. I said, The Holy Ghost will come upon you. And the power of the highest shall overshadow you. So, in the presence of the angel of God, the word of the Lord can be brought to his people. But in the presence of the Holy Spirit, the power of God is made available. I used to follow it. Yes, sir. You see, the, in, the intentions of God are revealed in His instructions. I'm speaking to somebody here tonight. The intention of God for your life are revealed by His instructions. Maybe you are here, but God has given you an instruction, but you are saying you are not clear about certain matters. Stay with what you know about His instruction, and then the foggy things will not become clear to you. But there are things that are possible only in the presence of God. Do you know that there are things that are possible in the presence of the Amalist? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. I'm saying that, maybe you want to write the first point down, presence determines possibilities. Hallelujah. The presence of God determines the possibilities that we can experience. In Psalm 16, verse 11, Psalm 16 and verse 11, he says, Thou wilt show to me the path of life, for in thy presence is fullness of joy. Okay, let's read together. Is it there? Is it correct? Psalm 16, 11. Is it there? Okay, let's try. Aren't you ready to go? That's why I read my own Bible before coming. Aren't you ready to go? You will show me the path of life. There are about four things in that scripture, but I want to give you two for the purpose of our subject. Number one, he starts with the word thou. He says thou. Someone say thou. Yeah. When he says thou, he's talking about a personality. Is that true? He's saying that there is somebody that we are really focusing on. And then he says thou will show. One of the reasons why, although the Holy Spirit lives inside the Christian, yet the Christian, like Pastor Shepherd was saying, is not able to experience the kingdom realities and the kingdom possibilities, is because that Christian is blind. Listen, it is possible to be born again yet spiritually blind. Hmm. The Bible says they know not, neither do they understand. They walk on in darkness. The foundations of the earth are out of course. Blindness was not a reality for some. Paul will not pray that in Ephesians chapter 1, he says that the eyes of your understanding, thank you, be enlightened, that you may know. That means that there are many Christians today who are not experiencing and enjoying the presence of God simply because they do not. Thank you. That's where we are starting from. They do not know. So they prefer entertainment to do worship because they do not know. They prefer jamboree to a life of holiness because they do not know. The one that you have come to worship is the thrice holy God. When Isaiah saw him in his glorious majesty, Isaiah was the one that preached the sermon to himself and said, Who is me? I am on top and I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell, Isaiah chapter 6, in the midst of a people of unclean lips. That means that your knowledge of God has determined the depth of your intimacy with Him. Mm. Hallelujah. Are you noting those things? Your knowledge of God determines the depth of your intimacy with Him. Don't tell me you know God because you have a melodious voice. 
gift and presence are not the same thing. How many of you know Father Christmas? Don't lie now. This is church. Okay, if you don't know, how many of you remember Father Christmas? You know Father Christmas used to wear one white until as we grew up, Father was our teacher. I was finding that teacher. When I was a boy, one time they took us to Father Christmas, but I was scared of his visit. We was looking, so I was crying. I was holding my mommy's dress, but the people should tell me, he will snap with Father Christmas to take I was crying, even when the child didn't even want to have Father Christmas name there. Why am I a photo? The Father Christmas took a head, and I said, hey, Father Christmas, who is my father, hey, or young. So it looked like I was sick. And then they gave me, you know, rice and cola and all that. It's not Father Christmas that gave me the gift. Your parents already paid for it. If your parents will not pay for that Christmas, you will be So it's not even Father Christmas. <laughs> you, it's Father Red and White. <laughs> Are you following me? Yes, sir. God is not Father Christmas that will give you things without having a relationship with Him. Before you enter the kingdom, that is possible because God freely gives to all men, liberally. He causes the sun to shine on both the good and the bad, the rain to fall on both the good and the evil. But when it comes to kingdom realities, there are certain things that it is only relationship that can give it to you. Yes, sir. In his presence. So what I want to start with tonight is let us look at the attribute of God. Are we together? Yes, sir. Say with me the attribute of God. The attribute of God. Instrumental, so say with me the attribute of God. Yes. Tap the trumpet. Say with me the attribute of God. Yes. That's how to learn the presence. That's what they were. I mean, that's how to learn the presence. You must learn the part of learning the presence is to be disciplined. Are you following? Yes, sir. Now, I want to talk about the attributes of God. And the reason I want to talk about the attributes of God is the thing, again, according to Psalm 16 11, is in his presence. As I am now, there are some things I cannot do. Do you know that that some things are affordable does not mean that it is available to you? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Are you here? Yes, sir. If you're a really married person, you know, Pastor mentioned the, 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 the gift that he received by faith. Now, what sponsors faith is intimacy. Is that true? Yes, do you know you cannot do a point and say, if Pastor did it, I will do it. Hey! <laughs> the Bible says the children of Israel, they passed through the Red Sea as of dry land. The children of Egypt, Pharaoh and his men, are saying to do so, they drown. Meaning that Christian A is doing it, does not mean Christian B can do it. Even though it's the same Holy Ghost that is inside them. Mm. In the kingdom, knowledge and revelation puts us in different levels. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we following tonight? Yes, sir. So let's talk about the attributes of God. Look at something about saying the attributes of God. So you want to write number one. The attributes of God. Let, let me give you categories of the attributes of God. We'll just a few teaching and then we'll pray. Number one, categories of the attributes of God. Number one. The incommunicable attributes of God. Am I right? I want to talk about the agony. Uh, agony, agony, agony. Uh, I mean, I want to be, 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 When we, you know, young children, you know that there's what they call incommunicable disease. Do you remember? And, Incommunicable disease is the disease that overtakes in one only. <laughs> it's not you can say it, you can say <laughs> it's your book. Now, when we talk about the incommunicable attribute of God, we are talking about those attributes of God that it is only God that, that can manifest it. No matter how holy a Christian is, he cannot manifest this. Remember. Trying to emphasize on in his peace, peace. So that by the time I'm done explaining the attributes of God, uh, then you find out that this thing is bigger than what you thought it was. So, number one is what the incommunicable attributes of God. Now, out of that, under that, I give you three things because of time. Number one, may I like to give you time? I'll spend a one hour. Number one, don't worry, when I say the first one, you will know the rest. You will know the rest. Number one, the omnipresence of God. <laughs> I like our mother's mom. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm omnipresence. Omnipresence. <laughs> when we talk about the omnipresence of God, we are saying that what God is 
Where she shake, and she shake. You are making it easy for me now. God is everywhere. For example, David was crying in Psalm 133. He said, Where can I go from your presence? If I go to the height of the heavens, you are there. If I hide under the belly of the rocks, he says, You are there. Meaning that there is no way you are that God is not. So the challenge of the Christian, most times, is not that God is absent, it's that you are not conscious of his presence. Mm. Are you here? Yes, sir. Number two. Number one is not only presence. So whether you are in the corner of your room, you are about to have an accident, you are about to be operated in the theater, you are about to deliver a baby, that you are, it doesn't matter what it is, it is right there. In the days of Nehemiah, when he heard that the, the, the walls of Jerusalem were broken down, the walls were broken with fire, the gates were broken down, the Bible says when the king was to ask Nehemiah, what do you need? The Bible says Nehemiah prayed under his breath. Now, God did not need to rush that from him and say, Nehemiah, wait, wait, so that I can hear you, King also, uh -uh. he is everywhere at all times. In the same mayor, you cannot actually miss the presence of God, but you can not know the presence of God. Because as you are here now, do you know that even in hellfire, God is in hell in the fullness of his wrath? If God is not in hell in the fullness of his wrath, then we don't have hellfire. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Because if God is not, the Lamb is not everywhere. Are you here? Wow. Are you still following me here? Yes, That's why the children, you know, Daniel's friends, Shadrach, Isaac, and Abednego. All right? I know that that was not their real names, but let's stay with the popular ones. The Bible made it in Daniel chapter 3 that when the Ukraine stood to turn to the God of Israel, Jehovah, and then he said that whoever does not bow to the graven image that he set up, that they should be thrown in towards her, a fiery furnace. And the Bible made it clear that those ones said, O oh, king, we are not careful to answer you in this matter. If our, listen, our God is able to save us, but in this he chooses not to save us. We are satisfied. How many Christians today compromise God because they think that God is dead? They think that God has expired. They think that God has gone on strike. They think that God is on hibernation. Some people think that God went on vacation. But listen, it does not matter what you're really going through. What matters is who is going through it with you. Tell your neighbor I'm not alone. Okay, you may tell your neighbor the person who says it like you tell yourself I'm not alone. The presence of God. When they go there, the Bible made it clear that when the friends of Daniel entered, they were cast into the very furnace. You know, it was eaten several times more time. The Bible says very beautifully that when they got there, they were thrown there bound with fetters, with, with ropes. But when they entered the fire, the fire caught their shoes. The fire that was to destroy them suddenly became a transforming fire rather than a consuming fire. Why? They met the fourth man in the fire. Now, Nebuchadnezzar did not go to a Bible school. He did not attend school of disciples. But Nebuchadnezzar knew what many Christians today do not know. Nebuchadnezzar found out that that fourth man in the fire was like the appearance of the Son of God. Who taught Nebuchadnezzar that the way the Son of God looks when he's somewhere? Listen, the fire you are going through in your personal life may be that which will attract the fourth man. Without the fire, the fourth man will not make himself manifest. Because there are three levels of the presence of God. There is the indwelling presence of God. There is the only presence of God. And then there is the manifest presence of God, which is the Shekinah glory. That was what Solomon and his men experienced. And the Bible says, when the glory filled the place, even the priests would not stand to leave. So when they came out, the Bible said, from today, we will worship this God. That's the only presence of God. Are you going through tough times? You are not alone. Point number two. Are you still following? Yes, sir. And the attributes of God. Second attribute, only. Okay. Give me another only. Only what? Okay. Thank you. Let's do only. Let's do only. Okay. Only science. All right. Put only science. <laughs> it's omniscient. What do we mean by that? It's all knowing and all wise. Immortal, invisible, God only wise. Enlighten ourselves, see who is from us. Most pleasant, most glorious, the ancient of the age, almighty, victorious, thy great name. Only shit is all knowing and all wise. Sometimes people think that God does not know what they are going through. It's not true. In fact, let me add this to it. 
you actually know that there are things you know, is that true? Yes. And there are things you don't know. Yes. What your children are doing in school when you drop them to their teachers, do you know? No. Even when your children come and tell you, my teacher beating me two times, do you know if it's true? Do you know when you did start beating me, not be two times, it may be 16 times, and it may be once or it's only twice. Are you following me? Yes, there are things men can know, but there are other things that only God knows it. There are things about you that only you know. Listen, if a woman has five brothers, she's the only one that knows. Is that true? Hello? Uh, uh, hello? Let somebody shout hello. If a woman has five brothers, she's the only one that knows. The neighbors may not know. If a person has cancer in the first stage, is the only one that knows. After chemo starts happening, you see from the head that we need to notice certain changes. I'm saying that the things you are going through that is only you that know. But it's only you that is thinking it's only you that know. God the Father knows. God the Son knows. God the Holy Ghost knows. Are you understanding this? Yes. Hmm. Are you following me? Yes, sir. I'm saying there are things 
that man can come and build your boss in the office, your leaders, your followers. There are things people can do. But you see, man has power. Don't let anybody tell you man does not have power. It's not true. Man does not have power, but every default price in Nigeria accordingly has increased. Do you think man does not have power like that? Can you say something to change it to, to, to be put back to one way? Yeah. Are you that powerful? In fact, the Bible regards those in government office as powerful people. Romans chapter 13, verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For the powers that be. The Bible did not say men, it's the powers. Are you there? Men are called powers. Spirit can be called powers. God is all power. I want to get you know. Listen, when we can afflict a family, it's power. It, have you seen a nine-year-old girl that has witchcraft? And she can manipulate an entire family and ruin them. Why? Because it is still spiritual power. Ah, somebody's leg broke, and one of us can go say, go and cut chicken and break the leg and do something, and you'll be surprised. It's a kind of power. Satan, ah, Satan does not have power. Satan does not have power. Satan has power. But when it comes to the kingdom, the Bible says it's the governor among the nations. Even though the devil is the ruler of this world, the Bible says God is the God of the whole world. He says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and day that dwell there. Listen, he says the world and day that dwell there. That means that everything in the universe, the planetary bodies, the galaxies, the sun, the moon, the stars, Pluto, Mars, Saturn, Uranus, whales, fish, crocodiles, serpents, scorpions, the things on the earth. Because people can take sand and ask into sand incantation and blow it and that thing will trap and begin to manipulate people's lives. That's why the Bible says there is no enchantment against you. My guys, that divination against Israel. These things are powers, but there is a power that is greater than these powers. Listen, the power of men is derived. The power of Satan was derived. The power of demons is derived. But the power of God is not derived. It's inherent in him. So because was not given to him. Nobody can take it from him. Yeah. Are you still following me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. I can share stories. The, the power of God is real. It's a reality. But you see, you must not just see the power of God. You must be a carrier of the presence of God. Such that even when things are happening, walking against you, because you are a host of the presence of God and you are a worshiper of Yahweh, things will begin to fall in line for your favor, even when you did not know that something was happening at all. How do I know? Look at what our brother shared, our pastor, that a child was in the bed. We did not know at that time that the child was there or the time they put it. But later, it's with spiritual disappointment who began to be, but there is something that was contrary. Now, somebody that was not a part of the presence can sit on that same chair and ask true. People have gone to office and they return as dead bodies because they stepped on a child. You, you will be surprised that those red clothes and those cowards, you will think they don't mean anything. But in the realm of the spirit, these things have their own symbolism. Yes, but listen, the Bible says, Wherefore God has also highly exalted me and has given me a name that is above every name. And the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. That means, listen, even if the knee refuses to bow, there is a power that can cause that knee to bow without breaking it. Because the power of Jesus bowed to no other power. He is the highest of powers that is only. He means that his power is matchless. He's unchanging. Listen, if God's power were to be released in the entire creation, the power of God will still not diminish one bit. If you send money to somebody now, your account it will reduce by the amount that you send. But when God blesses you, the blessing of the Lord, it makes it rich. It has no sorrow to it. Meaning that if God blesses A and blesses B and blesses C, God's bank account cannot be exhausted. It's inexhaustible. And I'm not a real bit. I'm a real bit. Much And inexhaustible. That's what I'm talking about. The power of God is released in the dimension of the desire of the righteous. Alabaya, you are the mighty God. Ela to be true. You are the glorious God. Alabaya, you are the mighty God. Ela to be true. You are the glorious God. Alright. So I've given you three aspects. 
pernah di informasi dulu kan? Hah? Ini kan tak luasin inggis Belum lagi nangis Nah, look at the God we are talking about Whose presence we are talking about In an express Thank God this is really good Do you know on the express Even though there is traffic, some things are still possible for some people Do you know there are certain sirens when they start something You that say there is no space You are you, you not that, you will be small You just, you find it Are you, are you here? Yes sir Is this true? Very true Your car that is it You are dragging the car and say Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on I won't cry for you, don't worry Once you hear You don't see us with us Zip, zip, then you see black latches It's you that will say Then you now pack and wait Even if they are 20 minutes, just be waiting Nobody can advise you You need that power, pass power Both of you are cow owners But should get size That's why Anywhere you enter the child of God Then the people should take out you represent a power that is superior to every other thing. Somebody shout power. Ah. Let's now switch to the communicable attributes of God because of time. I want to teach you the things. Are you getting blessed already? Yes, sir. Yes. You want to live it with understanding the presence. So that when next you are worshiping God, you are conscious, you are present with the understanding. You know the one you are talking about. Now, when you talk about the communicable attributes of God, we are talking about that, those attributes of God that man can replicate. Those attributes of God that man can also manifest. For example, God is holy, according to Isaiah chapter 6. He says that one sinner has cried up to another, saying, Holy, 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 is the Lord God Almighty. And the whole earth is full of his glory. Holiness is the nature of God. Holiness means about three distinct things. Number one, Holiness means that God is perfect without defects. Number two, holiness means that he is sinless and without blemish. Number three, holiness means that he is set apart from his creation. That means that there is no only like as the Lord, but you are called to be holy. He said, be ye holy. That means that it's a communicable attribute of God. Be ye holy. The Bible talks about holiness. Let me cross 1144. Talks about holiness. Now, another communicable attribute of God that you see, according to scripture, there are so many and so many. You want to talk about love. The Bible says, first John 4, 7 and 8, be loved. Let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not, knoweth not God. For God, it is a as love, is love. How about the fruit of the Spirit? Galatians chapter 5 and verse 22. The fruit of the Spirit, all those things you see there, they are nature of God. But man can replicate them. Do you know that God is kind? Yes, Do you know God is good? Do you know God is compassionate? Is that true? Do you know that God is the God of all? Is the God of peace? Do you know the Christian too can manifest peace? Temperance, kindness, self-control, patience. Do you know God is patient with us? Yes, sir. He loved me when I didn't care. Was patient till I came. Rocking back into his hands. So God is patient. No, no, that's not. Amen. Amen. God is patient. Now, if you take, listen, studying the attributes of God can take you like five years. It is, I mean, it's a whole lot. It's a whole, you know. But the basic attributes of God that you know, if you sit down to really study them, you will find out that there is so much to explore in God than what astronauts can explore in space. Yes, sir. Now, having talked about the incommunicable and the communicable attributes of God, let's now talk about the manifestations of the presence of God. If you are getting the shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The manifestations of the presence of God. I'll give you a few things and then we'll pray. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. All right. 
the manifestations of the presence of God. Now, when we talk about the manifestations of the presence of God, what we are saying is that what are the things that can accompany the presence of God when He comes? Remember, Isaiah chapter 6, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting, sitting where? Mm. Sitting where? When you were jumping, they were giving your faces. The people know those that are not. Uh, sitting where? Oh, on the throne. Oh, okay, somewhere. The train of this road filled the temple. Now, remember we said that presence is what commands possibilities. Uh -huh. When you come into the presence of God, there are things that are possible. So let's go. Number one, Psalm 16, verse 11. Psalm 16 and verse 11, number one, things that accompany the presence of God. So that when we talk about in His presence, and when you are worshipping in His presence, and when you are conscious of His presence, these are the things that we follow in. Number one, Psalm 16 and verse 11, let us read together. Want to ready, go. The path of life, uh -huh. presence is fullness of joy, and it's right hand, let us forever. So number one is what? The fullness of joy, right hand. Fullness of joy. Joy is a reality in the kingdom of God. Joy is a fruit of the spirit. Joy. Listen, the world cannot give you joy. Yes. Bibi Naja cannot give you joy. Yes, Netflix cannot give you joy. Yes, TikTok cannot give you joy. Yes, Twitter cannot give you joy. Channels News. Cannot give you joy. TVC cannot give you joy. Amusement park cannot give you joy. Going to shopping mall cannot give you joy. You can snap picture, but it's your money you spend. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Hmm. There is a difference, you know, between joy and happiness. Now, happiness can be a component of joy, but joy is stronger than happiness. Joy is revelation based. Happiness is circumstances based. Last that again. Joy is revelation based. Happiness is circumstances based. Let me give an example. And how many of you are trusting God for an alert? Supernatural alert. Well, now I'm not one angel of money in your account. There's no angel that says, No angel is working with you. There's no angel in your account. You will work hard and God will bless the work of your hands or send people to bless you. But there's no angel from heaven that will just be rising two to seven. Are you following me here? Even, even Elijah, they did not transfer the food. From, it was a raving that brought it. Are you saying that? And the raving is Are you following me here? Hello, sir. Okay, so are you there? Yes, sir. When your alert rings, there's a way, there's a way money enters your account. And you hear that sound. I don't know your own record, but there's a way the notification comes. And you, and sometimes it is 15 hours and duty. Oh, let's bank. I don't know why you want back for this 15 minutes. When I see that, I say, let me reach it. And I say, debit it. Because sometimes I forget that debit. I don't know which one. I say, I go to the low level. Go to the low level. Go to the low level. But there is a way you see six digits. And you just see. You just see that zero. Kiss you. And then they're like, there's a way you dance. Is that true? When they say, God is good. Before they say, God is good. Yes, God is good. That is happiness. Because in two days' time, if, if a wicked man really has tracked you down, as you are taking your ATM, you are, you are, you are sending in it. You, are you put your hand there. That happiness begins to do it. That means that it has that connection with your emotions and it fluctuates. But when it comes to joy, if that over there alone, you are the most high. You get to there alone. Most high there. Why? Your circumstances does not change God. Hallelujah. Listen, what is promised is superior to what is happening. When God gives you a word, you can trust his integrity to be able to fulfill what he has promised. I was sharing with them in Adventity yesterday. When, when, when your uncle, when you were young, promised to buy you a toy. How many of you know promise card? I don't want to say promise card. How many of you know promise card? You promise card, promise card, promise card that you do. And then every December you carry it. Do you remember? Some is green, color green. Promise card is so many promise card. Because some things they say you should promise, 
na kaya mo si Chinita. Ang the Bible says, the power of God was present. Why? When Jesus is present, His power is present. Then, God does not go where His word does not go. Eh, go there. Eh, ma'am, repeat at the show. Don't look at the light. This is not the time to look at the light. Look at the man of God. Are you here? Are you here? I'm saying that God does not go where His word does not go. Anywhere God's word is, God is there. How do I know the children of Israel were languishing under the Egyptian captivity? The whiplash of Pharaoh on their backs and they were crying. And the Bible says what he did was he sent his word. Psalm 107 and verse 20. He sent his word and the word healed them. And then delivered them from their destruction. If you are looking for healing, don't run around to Abbas. Don't run around to Yemibu. Thank you. 
aspect of the manifestation of God's presence. Say with me, miracle signs and wonders. Write it like that. Miracle signs and wonders. Say with me, miracles. Yeah, yeah, see, listen, let me tell you. I'm a student of church history. One of the things I found out is that the reason why people do not see the move of God in their midst when they gather to meet is because they are not ready for the move of God. In the days of women like Echukuma, four hours before they the city, the church was filled up and people were ready to pray. They were ready. They were like a sponge, willing to receive. But when they said, God will move here, they said, the minister is not a showman, it's not an entertainer. It is what you pray, like Pastor said. That's what we do, that's what you need. Say with me, miracles. Okay, if you believe in miracles, say miracles. Jesus has a Lord and Savior, submitted to his 
name of his cross.
Don't forget that song. I, I talked to you song. Your throne is set and forever your kingdom remains. Hallelujah. 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 Beyond the feet of me, beyond the feet of me, and forever your kingdom remains.
it out, you will receive it. Yeah. If your tourist door and even if you can, open doors. Paul said, an open and effectual door is open unto a great and effectual door, but there are many adversaries. I don't know what new levels you need to step into, but you need an open door, a little of peace. Lift your hands, please. Can you take a minute to ask the Lord by yourself, Father? Open doors, open doors, open doors.
here right now who has been in captivity to the spirit of the fear of contradiction. Right now, I declare that deliver in the name of Jesus. Thank you.